and welcome to this Cloud Curious Playground. In today's challenge, we'll be creating a place to share your photos online. Has your phone ever got full of photos? So you send them to iCloud or Google Drive and then you can easily share them with your friends and family. Well, that is what I'm going to show you today. So first, let's have a look around the Google Cloud platform. So this is what your screen should now look like. If you haven't yet logged into the Google Cloud platform, please pause this video, go to the description and follow those instructions to log in. Or you can go to kpmgcloudcurious.com, click Playground, Cloud Curious Challenge, Online Photo Sharing, and we have all the instructions to start this session. So let's have a look around the Google Cloud Platform. Here we have our project info, which has our project name and project number. Think of a project like an account. All things you create are tied to this project. Down the left hand side here, we have our services. And we also have a search bar at the top where you can also search for services or products. So let's start by Scrolling down the left hand side until you see storage and then click cloud storage. Once that loads, we're going to press create bucket. And the first thing we need to do is name your bucket. It says that we pick a globally unique permanent name. By globally unique, it means that no one else on Google Cloud Platform can have the same name as your bucket. So I'm going to use my project name because that is also globally unique. So I'm going to click, highlight the ID, right click and press copy, press cancel, then right click in here and press paste. Then I'll press continue. Next, I'm going to choose where to store my data. So sometimes you might need to store your data in a specific area of the world. But today we're OK. So we're just going to click region. And we're going to leave it as US East 1 South Carolina and then press continue. We're then going to choose a default storage class for our data. The storage class will affect how much your bucket will cost and how you can interact with your data. We're going to leave it as standard and press continue. We'll pick uniform for access control. Access control is who has access to your bucket and when. Here, we're applying the same access to all objects in our bucket. Then press continue. For protection, we will leave it at none which is fine for the purpose of our bucket to hold an image. Then press create. And there you have it. In that matter of seconds, you have your own storage bucket on Google Cloud Platform. If you get this pop up, you can just press got it. Now we have this bucket, let's put something in it. You can put any picture you want here, or you can go to kpmgcloudcurious.com and go to Playgrounds. I've got the website here. Click Playgrounds, Cloud Curious Challenge, Online Photo Sharing, and scroll to the bottom where I've put an image that you can upload to your bucket. You can right click and press Save Image As. And then you just need to remember where you've saved your bucket and what you've called it and press Save. Once that's saved, Click back into your console and click Upload Files. Then find the image you want and press Open. And you can see in a couple of seconds that upload has been successful and we can see our image here. If we look over to the right, we can see under public access, it says not public. So that means right now we cannot share our image which is what we want to do. So we have to make it publicly accessible so that anyone can see it. To do that, we have to click permissions. 
Here is the place that tells us what access is currently granted to this image or object. So you can see here that it says public access, not public. So this is something we want to change. Google Cloud Platform allows us to assign different roles which enable you to do different things. We want everyone to be able to see our image, but not edit. So we'll give them a role that allows this. So if we click add, and in new principles, type out all users, click it here, then click select a role and start typing out storage, object, viewer. And it's this second role here. So you can see that this role is giving read access to Google Cloud Storage objects. And we're giving that to all users. So you need to click that and press save. Then you can see we've got a little pop up here that's double checking. Are you sure you want to make this resource public? So this is really handy because in other cases we might have done this accidentally and we don't want to make it public and it gives us the opportunity to cancel before we go ahead. But because we want to share this image, we're going to click allow public access. And we can see that that policy has been updated and we can see now that public access says it is public to the internet. So let's test that out. If you click objects and click your object or your image, and then where it says public URL, if you click that, you can see here is our image. So this link you could share with your friends and family and they'll all get the same thing. So we've now created an online photo sharing platform. So if we go back to object details, we can create some folders. So you can create folders to separate your images or objects. So here we can click, press create folder, but this is just a test folder. I just want to see what happens. So I type out test folder and press create. So that's created, fantastic. I don't want this anymore, so I'm going to delete it. So to do that, I click this checkbox and press delete. It says confirm deletion by typing delete below and this action is permanent. So only do this if you are sure you want to delete this folder. Then I press the delete button and it only takes a couple of seconds and that folder is then deleted. If I now want to create another folder and I want to put my image in there, I press create folder and this time I'll call it online photo sharing. Press create and I can now see I've got this folder. I want to put this image inside of it. So what I do is press these three dots on the end, click move and click browse. And I can click online photo sharing as the folder and press select. If I press move, it's now moved my image inside. So let's have a look. And I can still see it there, public to the internet. And there we have it. In that short time, we've created an online photo sharing platform. To do that, we first created a Google storage bucket, uploaded an image, and we then made that image public so that everyone could see it just by sharing the URL. If you enjoyed today's session and want to get more hands-on practice with all things technical, please check out kpmgcloudcurious.com for all the resources to get hands-on. Have a great day and see you soon.